Hey everyone, um, I just wanted to um, start off this video being, um, so, like you've heard me mention in my other videos, Eddie, come here, I have a Siberian Husky, that is my Husky. I've had him since he was about eight weeks old. Um, this is all the stuff that I have collected over the years um, that I think are kind of essential for having a Husky. Um, and yeah, it, most of the stuff, I think the most expensive thing on here was probably the Furminator, which was like 27 bucks. but most of, all of the stuff is relatively cheap. And I think I got all of it at PetSmart, to be honest. Um, so I'm gonna go through each one by one for you. Um, so Huskies, they are, um, if you don't own one and you are thinking about getting one, um, I highly, highly, highly um, need to express the fact that you guys need to do as much research as possible to make sure that this is the dog for you. Um, my dog, um, he actually doesn't have that many health problems and my research, a lot of Huskies really don't have a lot of problems. Um, so uh, that's the, the great thing is that they usually don't have a lot of problems. They do shed like there's no tomorrow. They shed crazy. Um, I actually have fermented him five times now. And he still, if you can look closer. Eddie, come here. Come here. Brad Doug. Um, I don't know if this piece is going to go. Yeah, so I just pulled that out of him. Yeah, and I've already fermented him about, yeah, like I said, five times. So, um, when my, I'm going to actually not sweep my house for about a week and not vacuum my couch and I'll show you guys what it looks like <laughs> when it's not vacuumed or anything because right now it's all pretty clean all right so first of all what I have here is not that this this is called a gentle leader and what that does is because huskies pull a lot when you walk them they are just ridiculously at pulling and that's their breed that's their job they are you know the pulling breed that pulls the sleds and everything so um, I actually didn't know about this until uh, about a year ago when my client came in and she told me about it and I put it on him and it is a whole different dog when I put it on him when uh, I don't have the gentle leader on him he is pulling my arm my arm hurts like the next day from him pulling and so uh, with the gentle leader it works awesome I can actually show you real quick Eddie come here Let's see if I can do this one-handed. So, this is what it looks like. It's going to go over his nose. So, let's see if I can... Do, 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 do. I don't know how I'm going to do this. So, you pull this part out. This part is going to go over his nose. And then that little uh, circle is where you're going to clip your, your um, leash to. Let's see if I can try to do this. Alrighty. Come here. Come here. He hates it though. Come here. Come here. No, no, don't lay down. Come. Come here. Making this video horrible. You know that, right? I didn't even put it on you yet. Like I said, he hates it, but it helps my arm, so. And then it just goes on to the back. So when you're done, this is what it looks like. Oh. See? And it's not too tight. I can actually fit like all of my fingers in there if I wanted to. Um, it just has to make sure that it doesn't go past his nose. So if he tries to pull on it, I know, honey, you don't like it, but it works. So yeah, and then um, it goes up to the base of his head. So you actually put it a little bit tighter so it doesn't choke him. Ugh. Come here. And then that's where you would put your leash. Oh, there you go, see, you don't even have it on. It's not a form of torture or anything. It just loosely goes on him and it just makes it to where whenever he is walking and he pulls, his head goes to the side. This is his leash. Um, when he was younger, I actually tried to get a normal leash without um, the retractable the just normal plain old rope one 
and he was pulling so hard that I actually had like rug burns on my hand. So um, this is actually way more nicer. You have way more control of him. You don't have to like roll it up if you want him to get closer or anything like that. Um, and then here is a thing that I wish all people would have because I'm tired of stepping in dog poop. <laughs> um, yeah, we always pick up our dog's poop and put it in this bag. And it's just a normal bag. Uh, when I had it a long time ago, it actually smelled pretty good, but now it doesn't. Um, so yeah, I just tie it onto his leash. So whenever he goes to the bathroom, I just pick it up and then I just, on our walk home, I find a trash can somewhere. So here is the next most important thing. All right, heartworm prevention. Not just for Huskies, but for every dog. What heartworm disease is that um, a mosquito goes and bites an infected dog that has heartworms. They ingest the larva. And then when they go and bite another dog, they spit the larva into their bloodstream. And they end up coming down with heartworm disease, where the worm pretty much grows in the heart. Um, if not caught early enough, can be fatal. Um, the treatment for it is called imidacide, and it is an arsenic-based uh, medication. And they also have to stay in their cage or in their kennel for about four months with no activity. It's really horrible, and all you got to do is give them this little chewable to prevent all of that. So, what it is, there is not just HeartGuard. There is IvarHeart, Trifexis, um, TriHeart, uh, ProHeart, which is really great. It's injectable. That's once every six months. This is a chewable tab tablet I give him once every six months, or once uh, a month. See? It's just HeartGuard. And it's a beef chewable too, so I can actually break it up and give it to him as treats. He absolutely freaking loves it. Like, he is so happy to get it all the time. Um, all right, what else do I got? So since I'm going over heartworm prevention, I should probably go over flea prevention as well. Um, same thing, there is a lot, a lot of flea preventions out there. Um, but I have to stress to you that if you get anything from hearts, sergeants, atoms, uh, anything like that, you are not, it doesn't even work, and you are having your animal's life at risk, pretty much. There has been uh, animals brought into my clinic that have had burns on them. Um, there's a picture online, I mean, if you want to look it up, of this dog that has um, hearts on it, and the whole back just had to be abraded and had to have all the skin removed because it was just a horrible, horrible burn. Um, I've never heard anybody say anything good about it. So um, if you see it at, at Walmart, anything like that, do not buy it. If you are strapped for cash and can't afford, you know, much, um, there's always Foster's and Smith and there's always um, Pet Armor as well, which is a, uh, um, a generic form of Frontline. But what I have here for Eddie is Vectra. And this is what I give to him once a month. That's all you gotta do. And I just push this down right here and then put it up his back that's all I do and it's once a month I give it to him the same time as I give him his heart guard which is I think on the first so I can remember and that's all you gotta do and this prevents fleas which uh, if there's enough fleas can cause anemia um, fleas also can give you uh, tapeworms things like that to prevent it all you gotta do is just give this there you go um, this actually doesn't have a tick preventative in it because um, Vectra for uh, the 3D um, you're not allowed to have around cats, and I do have a cat here, so, um, her and Eddie don't really cuddle too much, but, yeah. Um, since I do live in Missouri, come here, come here, I'm gonna show you. Um, there's a lot of ticks here, and so I did get him a prevent tick collar. It's from Verbac. All you gotta do is go onto Foster's and Smith and look it up, or I think go on Amazon as well, and it's a little collar that goes around the neck, and, um, um, and it's good for up to three months as well. So that's what I did. And it's worked great. I've only found one tick on him when before he didn't even have the pre prevent tick collar. He only had about, I think I found like 10 ticks on him at one point. So yeah, works awesome. So, um, all right. So I should probably put these two together. So this is called a Ferminator. It is the best thing a Husky owner could ever have. Terminator. Um, this is actually the long cat, the cat long hair. It's the same size as the medium dog hair. It's just like 20 bucks cheaper. So uh, keep that in mind if you're looking for one. This works absolutely great and it is for the cats and it just works amazing. Um, so pretty much what you do 
is um, you just take it and you brush it along his skin or his fur 